If you're looking for solutions to manage vaginal swelling during pregnancy, you're at the right place. If you are pregnant and new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and press the bell button below so you don't miss any of my pelvic floor tips for an empowering birth and postpartum recovery. Vaginal swelling during pregnancy is pretty common actually, and there's a few reasons that can explain these symptoms from hormonal changes, increase in blood flow, and the pressure of your baby on the blood vessels that go down to your pelvis and lower body. So here are five strategies you can try to manage vaginal swelling in pregnancy and feel more comfortable. Strategy number one is elevation. So the idea here is to elevate your pelvis above your heart to provide an opportunity for the extra fluids in your pelvic area to go back to your heart. My favorite position for this is called calves on a stool. So what you will do is simply lie down on the floor and rest your legs on a chair or a sofa and put a few cushions under your pelvis. So it's super important that your pelvis is higher than your heart if you want this strategy to be effective. You could also have your legs up on a wall if you have swelling in your feet and legs as well. Stay in this position for five to 10 minutes and do it a few times a day or whenever you start feeling swollen in the vulva area. Or if you've been on your feet for a while, I would also suggest doing it. Strategy number two is pelvic floor exercises. Contracting and releasing the muscles of your pelvic floor act as a pump to get the swelling out of the vulva area. So what you will do is contract your pelvic floor for three seconds, release for three seconds, and repeat 10 times. If you need a refresher on how to do pelvic floor exercises, I will link a video in the description below so you can get started on the right foot. Now, if you want to get a better bang for your buck, you can also do these exercises in the calves on a stool position that we just saw. This way you will be combining the pump effect of your muscles and the effect of gravity, which can be super effective. Strategy number three is cold therapy. So I suggest using a soft gel pad for more comfort because honestly using a hard pack on the vulva when you are sore and swollen will not feel great. <laughs> so yeah, totally worth the investment. And also you can use it postpartum if you're dealing with any perineal pain or hemorrhoids. You will place your cold pack on top of your underwear, right on the perineum and vulva area and leave it there for about 10 minutes. You can do it a few times a day or whenever you experience discomfort from your symptoms. Strategy number four is compression. Applying pressure on the perineum area to prevent it from swelling too much can also be done if your symptoms cannot be managed otherwise. There's a few compression support available on the market and I will link my favorite ones in the description below. What I recommend if you're using a compression support is to put it on first thing in the morning and wear it through the day. This way you'll be preventing the swelling from building up throughout your day. And strategy number five is using a bump support. So using a maternity belt will keep your baby off your blood vessels so they are not as compressed and that can help in itself at just improving um, circulation in your lo lower body and your pelvic area. If you don't own a maternity belt yet, I would say the Mama Strut would be my first choice for you because it also includes support bands to add compression on the vulva area and it comes with a gel pack that you can insert for cold therapy on the perineum, which by the way can be super nice postpartum too. So the Mama Strut hits three birds in one stone here for vaginal swelling symptoms, which makes it a premium option. Now I reviewed this belt in one of my videos and I will link it in the description below if you want to watch it after. That being said, if you already own a maternity support belt and you want to try it, there's nothing wrong with that. Don't go and purchase another belt. Just see if the belt you own uh, makes a difference in your symptoms. Now, if you have not grabbed my free prenatal book to prepare your pelvic floor for a positive birth experience, 
make sure you download it in the description below. And on that note, I wish you a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for watching.